Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. And we have a beautiful guest. The Just best in the business. Chilling on the couch. It's Mr. X. Professional man off the bench. Wow, six man. He is. Right. Third man. Is. Let's crack into another one. All right. So, um, yo, yo. guys, uh, smugglers are real. Smugglers. Yep. People are uh, trying to smuggle stuff all the time. Yep. yep. Is this, you know? this going to be a political debate about the, about the border? <laughs> Let me know ahead of time. Yeah. First, I'm first things first. Who are you voting for? Um, the Green Party. Okay, great. That's no. my, that's my so man. So there was, uh, <laughs> this happened in Turkey. Okay. okay. So it was, uh, the police stopped six female passengers of Uzbek nationality. I'm not sure, Uzbekistan probably. Okay. Yep. Uzbek. Um, during the search of the women and the two vehicles that came to pick them up, they found 166 gold bars, each weighing 110 grams. I'm not sure of the weight on that. They're not very big, though. And 18 gaming consoles were seized. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. So they were smuggling gold and PlayStations. Okay. 110 grams, you said? 110 grams, yeah. So uh, of the gold bars, though... It's not even a quarter pound a piece. Oh, okay. So well, how much? Any ounces? So what's what's eighty four divided by six? Brother, I mean it's it's sixteen. I think right. What's eighty eighty four? What? Or, or, I'm fourteen. So fourteen times a quarter. So about three pounds, three and a half pounds of gold. Of gold. That's a lot. They found eighty four gold bars amongst six women. Okay. In their genitals. In in their genitals. In. Inside. Their genital areas. You mean like like wrapped around? It doesn't around explicitly like a, say up, whether up the it, was, canal, huh? it was inside them, but I highly doubt they just had them in their underwear. So that's like three pounds of gold inside them. And how many women? The prison. The prison wallet. The prison yeah. wallet. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I thought that was interesting. They they let them get all the way through, and then they busted them when they were leaving the airport and getting into the cars. So there was a, my my question is like, gold isn't illegal? Well, it, not in, in some countries it is. Oh. It, was, it was legal here. It was. It was illegal it was? to hold gold here. To own gold here, yeah. Really? During, during, when we were on the gold standard, when when they when FDR moved us, like did a great the good was was messing with the currency for the first time. Mm -hmm. Like he made it illegal to own gold, so the U.S. government bought all the gold. You could only own a few coins and ju and some jewelry. Beyond that, you weren't allowed to hold gold. So people would like hide it to try to keep their gold. But yeah, it was up until like the '60s or '70s, you couldn't privately hold gold. Now you can, right? Because we went off when the gold we went standard. off the gold standard, you could, but, which has yeah. also been one of the biggest mistakes we've ever made. So that's a long economics Anyways. podcast. We don't need to get yeah, into it. Yeah, we don't need to get into it. Yeah, yeah. But, but I like yeah. when you guys talk economics. It, it was, I, <laughs> I know do. you do. I know you do. I do. I, but yeah, it was illegal here. So it is not legal in every country. To, to Got you. So it didn't say why, they, but where they were smuggling from or whatever. But obviously, it maybe it seems like it was maybe stolen or they were smuggling it in some fashion. Either smuggling out of Uzbekistan into... You said each bar was 110 grams? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's so, 0.24 so pounds. So times 84. 0.25 pounds. The, yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot of pounds. Yeah. But so, you know, like. You're a little heavy in the loins today, aren't we, Susan? I mean, when So we, each, each one of those was probably worth. Let's see. I can tell you oh, that. yeah, because it's, cause it's, uh, it's like three, it's almost $3,000 an ounce right now. No, it's like 2000 an ounce. So, yeah, you're looking at like, those were almost probably six, $7,000 gold bars. So I wonder point. if it's like a laundering thing, maybe. Yeah, I don't know, but I thought the fact that they had them inside their bodies was an interesting piece. Because they, like, So they were leaving Uzbek, moving into Turkey. Yeah. So they were smuggling gold out of Uzbek is well, what they were doing. Because here's the thing. Uzbekistan, sorry. Gold yeah. bars have a very unique shape. They're like a credit card. Some of them, they can be any shape, but yeah. The ones that they showed here were like a credit card. Okay, they were showing those. Okay. So they were just like. Yeah, you just wrap them together like a deck of cards and just. Just, just pop them yeah, in. Yeah, get in there. Deck of cards. Yeah. <laughs> just smuggling in jacks. Like a five pound deck of cards and just get it. Uh, women's bodies are made to hold way worse. And that particular part of the body is made to be very elastic. So yeah. yeah. Boofing yeah. gold. But not, that's not boofing. I know, I know. <laughs> I don't know what you would call coofing. Coofing gold. 
I don't know. It it, it seems like uh, I I don't know. It seems like the women are probably traffic because you don't do that for no reason or they're either destitute. Well, you can't fit it in a butt, so it'd be hard for dudes to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the butt, right? Am I right? Am I right? Oh wait, Cor- sorry. Cor- Cor- <laughs> okay, it, are they going to a ditty party? Okay, so uh, it is the I, I did some googling real quick. The Central Bank of Uzbekistan has granted is granted exclusive right to purchase all locally refined gold. So oh, you, so you were... cannot sell it to anyone but the central bank. So something tells me they probably don't pay full Why? market price for it. Why is it that gold is the standard worldwide when there are more precious metals? Can we answer that? I understand that like it's it's been over time that is what we've kind of fallen back on but why is it that worldwide well, gold, it seems that like gold gold is, is so useful first of all right yeah about in, anwaki i know in elect well in electronics and all kinds of stuff right mm-hmm. so because it doesn't it doesn't corrode easily mm-hmm. it's not magnetic mm-hmm. it's it's super malleable yeah. like, it says like here. platinum is not necessarily that way and silver's def- silver tarnish is really easy so i there's there, it has value. There's numerous reasons. Yeah. One is scarcity. Gold is rare enough to be valuable, but not so rare that it can't be used as currency. It's durable. It's resistant to corrosion, yes. tarnish, and nearly indestructible. Okay. It's malleable, which so you can shape it. Yeah. yeah. The color is... Uh, it is pretty easy on the eyes. Look at that right Industrial there. applications. Gold is used in many industries, including electronics, dentistry, mm-hmm. and aerospace. Yep. Investment. Gold investments hold their value over time, even when other assets decline. Yep. Monetary history. You know, many historical cultures use gold as currency. And inertness. Gold is the least reactive metal, so it won't rust or tarnish when exposed to oxygen or water. So it's versatility. It's Basically, the longevity. Uh, it's very know, useful metal, very useful. and it's pretty. We, we're, we're naturally attracted to By it. By the way, did you all know that Costco is selling gold bars? They were. They this ran is, out. This is what I'm talking like about. Like I've, or seen, something now too. I've seen those gold bars sold a bunch of times. So like, could I go and buy a gold bar and take it to Turkey and sell it? Well, I mean, I but you're I'm, paying face I don't know value why you Costco. Would. Yeah, Costco paying, ain't hooking you up with a deal. Yeah, they were, it was like a very minor deal you could get off of them. But, yeah, but they, sold, they sold out like like I mean, within an hour. Yeah, or. well, they're selling those. And, I mean, they're probably the middleman. There's probably some gold company that's been holding gold forever. Gold's at, like, all-time high right now. So they're selling it. They're making a ton of profit on the gold. And then Costco's probably just getting a small cut of of what they're selling it for. Yeah, like I get the point of hoarding it, but I just wonder is like why isn't the standard diamonds? Diamonds are are rare, but they're Diamonds are not near as rare as Diamonds are only rare because they're because of the the monopoly that controls them. If I had an ounce of diamonds versus an ounce of gold, the ounce of diamonds is going to be way, worth way more. No. You don't think? Uh uh-uh. cuz diamonds yeah, well, it depends on the grade of diamond and all that stuff. It is right? yeah, it isn't the same. Gold is gold is gold. Diamonds yeah, is not. Diamonds, diamonds have all the grading diamonds. and like there's industrial. Pure, there's purity levels to gold as well though. There's 14 carat there's Well, that's cuz that's for jewelry, but like like tradable gold is like 22 to 24 carat. Like okay. it's almost pure. Okay. Or pretty okay. close to pure like what you're trading, but I mean, it's interesting. It definitely is interesting. Yeah, I don't know, man, but I I'm, I'm not buying gold at Costco. No. Oh, I thought you were going to say I'm not buying gold out of a vagina. Out of a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You might get a better deal out of the VJJ. I'd go with it. I'd buy that. I, I'd buy that vagina gold today. They're probably hooking it up. Like they're probably only charging, you if, know, like eighteen hundred an ounce. That's right. what I'm saying. Like, it, yeah, it's nineteen hundred if you want to get it yourself. Some lady, some lady walks up to you on the street, reaches under her uh, her, her kilt, pulls out a bar of gold. Hey. Yeah. 40 bucks. As of today, gold is 26. I'm buying that right then and there. I don't care what it smells like, looks like, feels like. I'm buying it if it's gold. What gold is 26.50 an ounce right now. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's it's been really pumping since uh it, like it hit an all-time high just recently of like 26.85. Now, I know that Turkey and Uzbek have different laws than us. I wonder what type of charges these women would be brought on for trafficking. Yeah, probably. Uh, well, they probably have to Did it say who caught it? Was it the Turkish authorities that caught them? Or was yeah, it, they were in Turkey. Yeah. They were moving into Turkey and the Turkey. Okay. Well, when so when you move to another country, you have to declare it and pay taxes mm, on it. Same same point. coming into the U.S. Like you that's have to declare point. that. But that's so, that's just the charges they'll get them on. I wonder, it's like the whole trafficking thing, because this is this is done by somebody else. Like the, the I don't know how many women did you say it was six. Six women don't just decide. They're to just shove gold they're probably, probably moving back and forth. Well, especially with, with yeah. they have PlayStations too. The PlayStation thing. I mean, is not weird, inside them, obviously. But, yeah, I, was, I right. hope not. <laughs> that, that's rough. <laughs> three PlayStations and three pounds of gold. Yeah. <laughs> 
Jesus. Yeah. So, anyways, I don't know. I thought that was wild as hell. So, uh, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazynow.com, subscribe for Jonas, TNT, and Mr. X. Uh, we out.